Thank you, Mr. Speaker. At this time, I'd like to yield five minutes to the gentleman from the Northern Mariana Islands, another true uh, champion of our veterans and a member of the VA Committee, Mr. Sablon. Gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I rise today in support of H.R. 1362, a bill that honors the late former delegate from American Samoa, Eni Falamon Vega, by naming the Veterans Community Based Outpatient Clinic in Pango Pango, American Samoa, the Falamon Vega, Eni Fa'awa'a Hunkin VA Clinic. A Vietnam veteran himself, and he worked tirelessly to secure the, this clinic for veterans in American Samoa. His efforts to ensure all veterans in his districts enrolled in VA healthcare to secure rent-free space for the clinic through an agreement with the United States Army Reserve, and his testimony to the VA's CARES Commission resulted in a recommendation that the clinic be established, eventually led to the approval of the clinic by the Veterans Administration. And he was resentless in his pursuit of this goal so these many veterans in American Samoa would no longer have to travel more than 2,000 miles to Honolulu to seek care at a VA facility. It is fitting that it now be named after him. And he was someone I looked to as a leader. He was the Dean of the Territorial Caucus when I first came to Congress in 2009. He had served there for some 20 years by that point. But his experience was of even more long-standing, having worked on the staff of Representative Philip Burton, a champion of the territories and all of the people in America who were often overlooked and forgotten. There were two things in particular I saw in any. First, he had absolutely no hesitation in representing the people of American Samoa and providing glimpses of the culture with the rest of us. He relished the opportunity to wear his lava lava, one of the traditional clothing. He took pride in his traditional tattooing. He never hesitated to sing the songs of his people 8,000 miles away. And though a delegate in this house, any Falamon Vega, never presented himself as anything less than a member of Congress. And in doing so, he never diminished the standing of his constituents and their right, like co Americans, to have their voice heard here in the people's house. The second lesson I learned from our departed friend was that the responsibilities of a member of Congress go beyond the parochial concerns of our district. Of course, we are here to be sure that the people and place we represent are treated fairly and that our special circumstances are taken well into account in the formulation of federal law and policy. But beyond that local responsibility, we all have a larger responsibility to act and, be, and speak on behalf of our nation as a whole. Any certainly dem demonstrated that larger role we must all accept by his advocacy for Native Americans and by taking leadership in the foreign affairs of our nation, especially in Asia and the island nations of the South Pacific. A good member of Congress takes care of their own people, just as any did. A great member of Congress understands that their people can only thrive when the nation as a whole is placed is a is place of justice and peace. Those are the lessons I learned from knowing any Falaman Vega. And for what he taught me, I will ever be grateful. Mr. Speaker, I yield back the balance of my time. 